Hey, good Christmas Eve to everybody. Um, and uh, I just uh, normally it's Thursday, right? But uh, normally we would get together for Theology Thursday, but not gonna be able to do that today because you are all with your family. And and uh, so uh, anyhow, I wanted to just put a little something together for you for Christmas Eve. There's a lot of church services canceled. And and um, so I uh, just wanted to share a few things with you on Christmas that uh, they're important to me. And... Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully important to you as well. So, uh, keep in your prayers, Rob uh, Harrell, uh, uh, who uh, had to go to the hospital yesterday, but I think he's fine. I, I texted with him a little bit this morning. It seems like he's doing better and thought it was uh, something more critical than it was. It looks like his tests are all going to be fine. And anyhow, he hopefully he'll be coming home to spend Christmas with his family today. And then, you know, we have a lot of other folks that... Uh, uh, Christmas can be a very joyful time, but it can also be uh, a very painful time as well. We have folks experiencing loss, and, and uh, so uh, life continues on. And in the midst of this crazy year, right, it's just been a crazy year. Uh, my brother texted me last night, um, late last night, and their dog ran off, you know, uh, of all things. They've got this dog that they love very much. They don't have children, and, and uh, but we had a Christmas miracle this morning. The dog showed back up hungry and cold. Uh, after running away, maybe chasing a deer or something. So, uh, but uh, anyhow, Christmas is uh, something that I've always enjoyed uh, as a as a child. Um, I think the one thing that I used to love, and I still I, I love Christmas Eve more than Christmas Day. Um, there's something about anticipation that is better than you know a, a present that's that's wrapped up. Um, has all kinds of possibilities, um, and then and then I remember you know sometimes when you're you're a kid and you're getting a new toy or something, that the, the toy never it never meets the expectation that you have, right? And and uh, and the and the and the joy of a of a present like that um, uh, doesn't last very long. Um, uh, it's very fleeting, isn't it? You know, so. Uh, um, but what if what if the thing that we were anticipating um, was better than we had imagined? Right. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me uh, read for you uh, from the Gospel of John. Uh, it's not the it's not the Christmas passage that we read all the time, but this is this is Christmas. Listen to this: In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world, and he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Yet, he came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And that's the Christmas story, right? In the, be in the beginning, Jesus was Jesus. And he didn't, he, he wasn't created uh, on Christmas. He was already Jesus. Um, he just manifested himself in a way that we could relate to on Christmas. Uh, as a baby, a very humbling way to come into the world. Uh, he did not pick someone famous uh, to be his parents. He could have, uh, you know, um, decided that he would be in a castle and uh, or an emperor's palace or you know at the at the heights of power. But he didn't do that. He he chose to uh, come to a no-name city uh, in Bethlehem. Uh, to no-name people, with Mary and Joseph, 
to be raised in a backwater town, probably a lot like, uh, you know, Olin or, or, uh, or Mount Ola or, you know, some, some little town that no one had ever heard of. And that's where God decided to grow up. And, uh, and, um, and the Christmas story is filled with all of these humble uh, beginnings, right? There was no place for them. So he had to be born in a barn. Um, instead of having a proper bed to sleep in, they used a feed trough. Uh, you're surrounded by uh, animals and, and, uh, and, the, and the lowest of the low, shepherds who nobody respected, right? And so those are the only people that showed up. You know? And so um, what, we are, what we are anticipating uh, in, in the form of Jesus, right, uh, is very surprising. And... Uh, uh, while we put presents under our tree and we give them to each other in honor of, of, of Jesus, it's kind of simulating uh, what the shepherds did and the wise men did, bringing gifts to him. We give gifts to each other out of love and uh, out of care for one another. Um, but the real gift is the gift that Jesus brought, that he brought light into a dark world. And Lord knows it's a dark world. It is dark, dark, dark out there. And this year has been uh, even, even more dark. And now we're reading that there's new strains of the virus. They don't know whether the vaccine's gonna work. And, you know, Lord, we've got a, we've got a political upheaval and an economic upheaval. And, and uh, my goodness, uh, we, we need light in dark places. And that's what Jesus came to do. And uh, so, uh, um, you know, my, my prayer for you all, uh, my, my, my Purple Heart Homes family, uh, is that um, today and tomorrow that it would begin a new, uh, a new place of trust uh, in this Savior who came in a very humble way, uh, a, a, new, a new reliance on him. I was thinking about this uh, as, as the events of the world seem to be so out of our control. Um, and, and, and maybe sometimes God seems very, very far away. Um, we had a, a, a celestial um, uh, event that went on in the sky, and it's still going on. We won't be able to see it tonight because of the cloud cover, but you know, over the last two days, uh, Jupiter and Saturn have uh, come in conjunction with one another from our vantage point, and, and we see this uh, amazing event in the sky. And uh, so the little baby who was born uh, in, a, in a manger uh, 2,000 years ago, um, what John says, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world, and he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. So what we should do is recognize that the celestial event that we saw um, was organized and ordained and empowered by the, the, uh, uh, the king the King Jesus, you know, and, uh, uh, and that's what Christmas is all about. I will, uh, I will end with this, my, my favorite uh, Christmas story from when I was a child. Um, I actually lived out, uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie, A, a, a Christmas Story, um, but I actually lived out Ralphie's uh, event before the movie came out, right? So the movie came out in 1980, and in 1976, I turned 11 years old, my brother turned nine, and uh, we came into our living room here. I live in the house that I grew up in. I bought it from my parents. And in our living room right in there, I came in and there was our Christmas tree and everything, and we had presents everywhere. And, and my brother and I had both, both asked for Red Ryder BB guns for Christmas, right? And of course, what did we hear? We, li we literally lived the movie. Oh, you shoot your eye out. and. Uh, we opened up all of our presents and there were no BB guns. And uh, we didn't say anything, we were good boys and, and uh, we didn't complain. Uh, but then after all the presents were open, so my dad was like, hey, uh, I think there's a couple other presents over behind the couch. I mean, it was literally like the movie before the movie came out. And when we went over behind the couch, what did we find? We found two rectangle boxes wrapped up with bows on them and two other boxes that were very heavy, about this big, right? And we tore into those things, and guess what was in it? Of course, it was Red Ryder BB guns. And, and not only that, we got two big old boxes of, of BBs that came along with it. We were thrilled, we were, I mean, it was stunt. I mean, it was more than we expected. We, we, our minds were absolutely blown, and I actually still have 
one of those old Red Ryder BB guns that I got in 1976. It doesn't work anymore, but it's downstairs hanging up on a gun rack. And that gift exceeded our expectations, right? We went outside and shot BBs all afternoon. It happened to be a pretty day that day. And uh, so it was fantastic. But uh, um, what, if our, what if the gift of Jesus exceeded all of our expectations? Uh, and he does. Um, that God would love us so much that he would manifest himself among us, that he would live and love and show us what God really looks like. Because remember, uh, everything God ever wanted to say about himself was summed up in the person and work of Jesus. So, with that in mind, uh, keep that in perspective today, that the gift uh, that you get tomorrow uh, may fade in, in its shininess o over the years, but the gift that God has given us in the form of his son through his life and ministry and love to others, his, his crucifixion and resurrection, that's a gift that never fades, uh, and it does bring light into a dark world. So Merry Christmas, everybody, from my house to yours. I uh, wish you all the best. Uh, we love you, uh, and have a safe and happy holiday. And uh, into the new year, we uh, move forward. And may 2021 be uh, much better uh, than 2020 for you and your family. God bless you.